Today's well drilling video is made possible by Simply Safe. Sweetloaf wants to take a bath. I don't think there's any fishies in there. Okay. It depends on how hard you push down. If you only if you put a gap in there like this, it's gonna do long strokes. You push it down nice and tight, push down on it, it's gonna be like The guys just told me they're down about a hundred feet. They're gonna, they pulled that bit out. They're gonna put a 10 inch bit in so that they can put the first set of the casing in, which is gonna be, have a bit night lining. The bit night is kind of a, a clay uh, formula that prevents any surface water from contaminating the aquifer of the well.
I've been trying to figure out a way to pay for this expensive hole in the ground. Fortunately, Sim Sim Simply Safe has stepped up to sponsor this video. Simply Safe, if you don't know, is a home security system that offers 24 hour monitoring that will keep you and your family safe. A great feature of the Simply Safe system is the 24 hour police monitoring. Because they have real time monitoring with cameras, they can actually get the images to the police department, and that gives you a three and a half times an average quicker response time than many other security systems. The Simply Safe system is modern and comprehensive. It's not like those alarm systems that we grew up with, with all the phony little wires and sensors. Everything's wireless, it's very easy to put up. I've got glass breaking sensors. I've got water spill sensors. We've got smoke sensors. If we have a fire in the middle of the night, cameras, doorbell sensors, automatic door locks, you can mix and match. Everything's super modular. You can install it yourself. And of course, people who are in the know, they use Simply Safe. I use it. My man Grantham, I see he uses it. I I am not the most organized person. I'm always the t I'm the type of guy always looking for my keys, my poor wife, bless her. I can hit that keypad, it will open up the door, I have no problems. If you'd like more information on your own system, simply go to simplysafe.com forward slash Wrangler Star and you can start mixing and matching, picking the things that work for you and get your system set up and uh, get your home and family protected. Welcome to chaos. She is washing dishes. Washing dishes? Yeah. Do you like washing dishes? I see that there's been some <laughs> Towels on the floor, just in case. <laughs> Would you like to see gravel from 120 feet deep or rock? That is not the number I wanted. <laughs> They're at 120. No. They said they had a good feeling. Oh, good. No one's ever seen that before. Wow. We should have them dig it all up and put it on our driveway. Gravel, Jack, from 120 feet deep. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> Best help forever. just got the casing installed, or we, that's easy for me to say, they just got the casing installed, they put 40 feet of casing in, and now they're going to be drilling again, so we're at about 110 feet, so that's uh, $10,000. I find this so interesting. I was talking to the head well driller there and asked him about anything interesting that happens. He said that it's common for them to come upon wood, petrified wood, regular wood, even wood that's been burnt charcoal. I asked him what's the deepest they found wood and he said he's found it over 800 feet deep. I said, boy, that kind of speaks to uh, a, a little proof of a worldwide flood, doesn't it?
scientific tool of the century. That was granddad's tech. Yeah, grand, grandpa decided that we need to put a, a piece of tubing on the end of a bunch of line and mark it every 25 feet to tell where the water level is in the bottom of the well. And for the last 40 years, we've all been trying to figure out a better way to do it. <laughs> this is all we can come up with. All right, so you're going to drop that in there and then, and I'm going to let her fly and each mark's going to be 25 feet and we'll hear a boosh when it hits the water. And that'll tell us our static water level, and then we'll go on down to make sure the bottom's where it's supposed to be in. And um, seal this well, and you're done. So a hundred foot hole would be good. Thirty is acceptable, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, there is no really fine line. Yeah. Tyler. Was I right? 95 feet. <laughs> so 95 feet is the top, is the level. Currently. Is the static water level. Uh, Our marks must be a little bit off. It says the bottom is 298. And we only yeah, drilled to 288, so we need to check our marks next time we get it in the shop. We'll so there, scientifically speaking, this is give or take five or 10 feet. <laughs> Probably set the pump right there, what, 240-ish maybe? Yeah. And keep it up off the bottom. Pull the pump off the bottom. Yeah. Five feet. Yeah. Yeah. Even more than that. You I... can, but with the uh, with the amount of water you got and the high the water level, it saves you a little bit to leave it up right where we hit the water. You know, because you're just wasting money and yes, pipe and head. wire. The farther you go after that. Head pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you had a two couple gallons a minute and you were worried about it, then you go as low as you can. Yeah. yeah. So you can get the most storage out of your well. Yeah. 